Dear friends, join me in reflecting the Gospel of the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time in Year B. This Sunday we are reflecting from the Gospel of St. Mark chapter 6 verses 30 to 34. It is the continuation of last Sunday's Gospel where Jesus sent his apostles two by two to proclaim the good news, to heal the sick and to expel the demons. And today's gospel continues to narrate that the apostles, after their successful mission, came back to Jesus and narrated to him all they had done. In our uh, formation years, we too were sent for missions. And after the mission experience, we had to write down all that we had accomplished and report to our directors. And there was discussions about it. We see that the accountability and also the faith sharing Jesus wants to know about the experience of apostles and also they are learning from it. And then Jesus invites them to rest with him in a deserted place. Dear friends, God, when he created this world, after creating six days, God rested on the seventh day. God created Sabbath. And God wants the Sabbath to be respected. That the seventh day is not for the work. As Christians, we celebrate the Sunday as Sabbath. A day for rest. A day to be with the family a day to worship the Lord, to thank Him, to be with the Lord. Jesus teaches His disciples the importance of rest. They have worked, they have uh, accomplished the mission. Now Jesus also gives priority for rest. He is teaching them the virtue of moderation. In the Benedictine tradition, there is this uh, ora et labora, work and prayer, the time for work and after the t there is a break, the time for prayer. Dear friends, Jesus is teaching us the importance of work, the importance of rest. At the same time, we are called also to respect the Sunday as the day of rest without work and also to worship the Lord, to be with the Lord. Jesus and disciples, when they went into this deserted place to rest, people saw them going there. They followed them and before they reached that place, people were already there. And Jesus saw them and he had a compassion for these people because they were like sheep without a shepherd. What could be the reason Jesus could feel in such a uh, compassion to these people? We know that in not only in Jesus' time, but in our time too, there are millions of people who, who are like sheep without a shepherd, who look for meaning in their life. There are people who are addicted to drugs, alcohol, or those who commit suicide, those who do not find meaning in their life, people who are materially rich but spiritually poor. And this Sunday, Jesus looks at each one of us, each one of us who are looking for Jesus, who have a deeper thirst in us, and Jesus has pity on us. Jesus has compassion for each one of us. He is inviting us as he invited the apostles, come to him, to a lonely place, come to rest with him. Dear friends, Sunday is given as a day of rest for us, a day of day to spend with the Lord, to find meaning for our life to quench the inner thirst of our life. Our Lady at Lasalate 
told to the children one of the reasons for her great sorrow is that people do not respect the day of the Lord, that they work on Sundays. Dear friends, let us come to Jesus. Let us find our strength from Jesus and let us respect the day of the Lord and also let us rest with the Lord. Friends, be sharers of the Word of God by sharing this video to one or two of your friends. God bless you.